Hi, I'm Ramona and uh, I know it's been six months since I actually did a vlog, but I found an amazing video team and I'm hoping to carry on this feature over the next couple of months until the year ends. Um, today I want to talk about something that's that's very important. I, I get all your emails. Thank you so much for all of it. I, I truly appreciate it. I, I just want to spur you on because I find that um, for the first half of 2017, a lot of people were asking me, how do I get started? You know, why? How, how are you doing this, you know, to, to have a total project value of 100 million? How, how are you not running scared? How are you not? I am running scared. But the truth is, I just want to teach you a little trick that I learned when I was at an incubator internationally. And it's called fear versus freedom. And it's one of my claim to fame in business because I'm not really scared of many things. I think the debt, debt in life scares me. I don't, I don't like having debt in business and I don't like having debt, but you learn with, with good uh, finance people that that's part of life, right? But only when you're ready. Um, so today I want to talk about something that's very close to my heart. Um, you must have read the stories about fear versus freedom. And in any business that I do with any of my mentees, with people that just reach out to me on social media, I teach a very simple strategy of this. There's only two, there's only two emotions in the world, right? There's love and there's fear. And sometimes you need to stop and ask yourself, what am I truly feeling? And the reason I'm saying that is because when you approach something with fear, you're not going to get the result that you desire. But when you approach something with love, which is a positive emotion, you may get the response that you need or you may be taught a lesson that you need in, in a bigger scale. I want to say to you that um, as brave as it is, in the last five months why you haven't seen me is because I've been fundraising 30 million to, to set up a plant. And it's been very hard because I'm new to the business, I'm new to industry, and I mean, what track record do I have? I have a track record and that's where self-belief comes in. My self-belief is far greater that I know I'm worth 100 million. I'm not there right now, but I know in the future I will be. So I keep that mentality going. And my fear is much smaller than it should be because I know what I'm worth. And today I want you to take away something very simple. You need to practice 10 questions that truly scare you, okay? Um, I'm scared of heights and I'm not ready to go onto a bridge and, and look at certain things. But if you don't practice this process, it's gonna take you very long to get ahead in business. And the reason why I'm teaching you fear versus freedom is because every question you ever wanna ask someone powerful, like a mentor or something, and I've taught all my girls this, you gotta ask that question. Because questions are only driven by two things. They're either driven by fear or they're driven by love. They need to know something or they need to prove something and always choose your battles. So a perfect example is I've gone to development funding institutions in our country and I've asked for lots of money, right? And this is in my mind, and I always say to you, do not focus on the noise. Do not focus on the people that are saying things to you. Do not listen to it. Do not make a part of it. It's not part of life. Focus on you. Focus on your purpose, your intention, your reality. Let go of the people that are bringing you down and, and just pull down on it, right? So. My favorite story to tell is that when I go ask for 25 million from the government or from donors or investors, they're not really putting up posters um, at traffic lights saying, did you know Ramona asked for 30 million today? No, it's part of business. And in that moment, you have an answer. They're either going to say yes, no, or maybe. But the best part about the situation is at least I asked so that I don't have to spend the next six months of my life wondering what would have happened if I did. Do you get the whole thing that I'm trying to say? Yeah. So fear versus freedom is very simple. You have 30 seconds to make a decision, right? Always remember that. As an entrepreneur, you have to move very quickly, but if it's massive decisions that require money, people's emotions, relationships, you have to sleep on it. That's the most simple things that I've learned. But if it's quick decisions that you know in your mind and you can feel it in your chest, this is intuition by the way, these things. Mm -hmm. If you can feel it in your chest and your mind, there's no way you're not going to win. But fear versus freedom is the most important thing. There's a, there's a very simple thing that I've learned and I'm thankful to God for the, the greatness that we have as a business to, to be able to have a team that's constantly evolving and things like that. But it's because I do everything with love. You know, there's a lot of great people who talk about this, but my love for what I do always overcompensates for my fear and my overwhelmment and my anxiety. I keep it together because if you always start with why you began, 
and you evolved into that, your fear versus freedom will be very little. It, it, you'd actually probably send me a mail and be like, you're right. That's the basis of today. Go find 10 things that you're scared of and look at it very hard and think about it very carefully or go crazy and, and, and write up a list of 10 people that you want to call. And I want you to write down as you go, for example, I want to call the CEO of X company. What is your fear saying and what is your freedom saying? And break it down and look at it and take, talk to someone that you trust and ask them and say, hey, did you know that if I call the CEO of X, Y, and Z company, my fear said that they'll judge me, but my freedom said that they may help me. And that's what I'm trying to encourage you to do. To date, we have 1.2 million pads in distribution. 80% of those pads distribution was because I picked up the phone out of freedom to call someone and say, I'm the CEO of a nonprofit company. Can you help us? Would you like to sit down and have a meeting? Would you like a discussion? In 30 minutes, I always know where I stand with somebody. And that means I can run that list off and move on to the next. But if you keep sitting in your mind and you keep listening to the squirrels, you're not gonna get there. So take it from me, from someone who's had the door closed a thousand times and still gets up every morning to help girl, women, girl children and women empower themselves in South Africa, I can do it so you can too. Join us next month. Uh, hopefully we're talking about women issues. Um, I'll find something interesting, but you'll find the information coming through and, and we can take it. But be true to yourself, be kind, and always, always be noble because that's what takes you far in life. Cheers.